Imagine being on board a prison ship for nine months, trying to care for your small baby, and arriving in a land where there were no houses or buildings for shelter, and no farmers to provide food. That is what happened to Susanna Holmes. She had been deported from England to Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, in 1787 for alleged theft. Susanna became an outstanding founding mother of Australia. We have pleasure in presenting her story in this short video. It celebrates the publication of the book and audio called The Amazing People of Sydney, in which you can follow Susanna's journey and those of others who made great contributions. Susanna Holmes, 1764 to 1825. I was sent to a mixed-sex prison. There were more men than women. One needed to be strong to survive. Henry Cabell befriended me. We both came from a Suffolk village called Surlingham. Before long, we were lovers. Not that there was much privacy. I had been arrested for stealing. He had been in a gang of thieves led by his father. They were hanged. But Henry, the youngest, was spared. From 1783, we were imprisoned for three years in Norwich. It was an overcrowded, filthy place like other prisons. In 1786, we were listed to go to Australia on the First Fleet. Deportation, they called it. A life sentence by any other name. Five months earlier, I had created a new life. I gave birth to a son, and we named him Henry. The son of my boyfriend, he denied all knowledge of receiving them. So began a key legal case in the history of Australia. Could a convicted prisoner sue a ship's captain? Henry petitioned Governor Philip to put the captain on trial. To his credit, he did. Prison warder Simpson was my hero. He never knew what he really achieved. Like me and Henry, he was a founder of Australia. He saved my son and helped form the new nation. A nation that has given hope and a better future to so many.